okay hello everyone this is uh, recording the <laughs> third attempt to record and i think this is the third time also to record a tutorial for using online forms in iolis this is how you get the forms you can either click iolis web apps and then click online forms and you can click which form instead of making a form for every kind of uh, making a tutorial for every kind of form i want to make this tutorial generic to any of these forms and any of the other forms that will be requested to be put online later basically we just need to authenticate your identity because most forms you need to sign this to make some kind of signature so uh, you will see that you cannot sign if you are not logged in and there are three ways to log in as an employee of uh, AUP if you are using IOLIS before if you're a teacher or an office worker or if you're a student you have an iolis uh, student account or if you are if you don't have any of this you can use this uh, as, as a last resort we encourage you to use this two first because you can keep track of the forms you you fill up and number two we don't have any intention of deleting your accounts Maybe we can deactivate the account, but uh, if you come back, we will reactivate. Also, same with IOLIS, we don't have any plan to delete any ID number because those are attached to your grades and your uh, payments and your balance, etc. But for at AUP email account, this is the most recent uh, integration with these forms. Uh, since all AUP employees and all students have at AUP, we tried to also authenticate with at AUP Gmail account. And since this is hosted in Gmail, hosted for free, we don't know when Gmail will continue to host for free or how many Gmail accounts we are allowed to make. If we run out of Gmail accounts, we might uh, delete your accounts. So they are not actually permanent or if you graduate we are not we're not sure if we will keep your accounts we might run out of accounts so we encourage you to use this employee and uh, at iolis uh, account student account so if you use try to use this you can log in okay let me reload What's going on? It doesn't want to type. <laughs> I think I have to reload. And when I click this, I have to click OK. Then it will allow me to type. I don't know why. I click Agree. I click Submit. And then I'm logged in as my iOS account. It doesn't have at AUP, it's not the email account, it's not an ID number, it's the initials which we use for IOLIS. So I can now uh, I can now fill up the form. If you did not uh, fill up anything, you cannot send a blank form to anyone. And if you save even a blank form, it will not even save. So if you're wondering why did you say no data to save, that means you actually didn't type anything yet. So if I type something here and I click save, then you will see that you are assigned a form instance ID. This is unique in this whole forms system. You will see also in the history that you type something and it was saved at this time and you also under the item you also have a, some history the two last items in that history 
but everything else here will be saved and after you save some content in the form you can now send it through email the analogy of send walking to another office and giving the form for signature so let's say i send it to myself <coughs> it will open an emailer it will take some time for you to make up your mind it will close itself and you have sent the email to somebody if you want to retrieve uh, all the emails that you have sent or participated in you can click that button if you're using these forms i'm in okay now let's uh, demo the other kinds of logins okay now i'm trying to my browser is confused because i'm using so many kinds of accounts so let me clean my browser a little bit uh, i have to click if this happens to you currently i don't know how to fix this but if this happens to you this only happens to people who are using too many accounts you can click uh, more tools developer tools and click application click cookies click iolis.aup.edu.h and delete 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 everything and then close it and just press reload so it's now clean it has forgotten who we are and we can now log in as a student most students already know how to use this without any tutorial but some advanced students advanced in age need a tutorial so oh, sorry so we can just actually do this you see you are logged in as an id number and you can do the same thing okay next thing we need to demo let me just log out of ALS personal and close it and when we go here is we say oh we still need to log out okay now i logged out and when i click any of the forms it doesn't recognize me therefore it gives me three options to log in now for everybody else who doesn't have an iolis account and everybody else who is not a student who doesn't have a student account you can po use the at aup email that edu at aup.edu.ph gmail account to authenticate because you cannot sign if you do not authenticate so what you do is that first you log into your email you log into your at aup email and this computer i'm using uh, several email accounts you see the default is gmail but i also use my at aup here in this browser so you make sure you open the at aup by adding add account and i just type here my my aup and then i click send it's going to open a mailer and send this a distinct subject to iolis at aup.edu.ph when you click send it will send and then it will give you some time to undo and then it will close its own tab by itself after a few seconds and then we can wait some 10 seconds and then we can click login for the system to check email if you were able to send and if we receive this unique string that means you are actually logged into your claim at aup account and that you are the same person and we trust that when you click login then you can click online form and you are now logged in as your email address okay and you can now fill up the form whatever you want to put and approve etc so this is a generic tutorial 
by the way when you click approve it will automatically open a sender so that you can send it to the next person who needs to approve because if you approve it here of course in this kind in this specific form you need to send it to i think a student program coordinator i don't know who that is currently but it depends on from form to form who is in sequence so let me just cancel this and uh, discuss some other things you can if you mess too many things in the form you might want to create a new form just click this and you will get a new fresh form blank form if you want to check forms you are in you sorry it is not available we you have to log in a student if you log if you fill up forms in as a student and you fill up forms as employee you will only be able to list the forms when whichever you logged in and currently not available in the email uh, mode yet so uh, that's it for the specifics of the steps of the specific text te steps of any of these forms it depends on who uh, invented this form usually the code is here this is a form from the dsf the graduate school the vice president for academics the regist uh, records and admission office the college of dentistry the human resource office etc so they are the ones who made the form and i just converted it from paper to an uh, online form and you can ask them for the process or explanation thank you i hope that helps if you have any question you can email me winalfredpasamba at gmail.com or you can look for me in facebook have a nice day